Well, I'm sure you've noticed we've been dry and we've been cool into the summer season. Uh, we've been dry, though, since the beginning of the year. We've only had 47 hundredths of an inch of rain in the month of July so far. Since the beginning of the month, that means we're about a half an inch below normal. And since June 1st, we're almost two inches below normal. And since the first of the year, we're more than four inches below normal. So we're going to need a little rain around here. And it's been kind of cool. Matter of fact, it's many warm days if since June 1st, we've had cold days, 13 days in the 60s, 13 days in the 80s, with 11 days in the 70s and two very chilly days in the 50s. The big weather word is so far no 90 degree days officially in Milwaukee. Comfortable sleeping weather over the last couple of nights, actually very cool for the last couple of nights. Our normal lows around 63 degrees. We were at 58. This morning, 56 in Port Washington and Racine, 54 in Waukesha, West Bend, and look at that, 50 Fond du Lac and also out in Beaver Dam. It's going to be a little warmer over the next couple of nights. High temperatures rebounded to 72 in Milwaukee today, almost 80 in Madison, 80 in Green Bay, almost 80 in Wausau, 80 in La Crosse, and also in Eau Claire. So you can see those easterly winds, even though the air is generally on the cooler side, uh, help keep those temperatures cooler. In the evening hours, you can see temperatures, if you're going to Bastille days, in the 60s, basically dropping into the low 60s by midnight, and then we're going to see temperatures uh, in the 70s, low 70s for the evening hours. By the morning hours, we drop to 58. Milwaukee, Racine, 57. In Port Washington, mid-50s inland, 56 in Waukesha, also out in Whitewater with 55 in Watertown, and also up in Beaver Dan. The other weather word is humidity is on the rise. Not tomorrow. Tomorrow's very dry still. Start to feel a little bit on Saturday with dew points back in the mid-60s, upper 60s. You'll really feel the sticky air on Sunday and even a little more humid into Monday. And that will generate a few widely scattered showers and storms. Satellite, though, showing nothing going on. High pressure pretty much giving us the dry air and the easterly winds. That slips to the east tomorrow, starting to warm up. By Saturday, it's gone, and we're looking at a low pressure system moving our way, and the winds turning more south to southeast across the area. Tonight, though, mostly clear, comfortable, dry night, 55 inland, 58 in the city for tomorrow. We'll see a lot of sunshine. Sunny to partly cloudy skies. Gets up to about 76 degrees in the city, 80. Well, inland as the winds shift to the southeast in the afternoon. And then to start the weekend, looking pretty good. 77 degrees in the city, 81 inland. The winds are south, southeast. And if we get a thunderstorm, this is not an all-day rain. It would come mainly in the afternoon hours. Your Storm Team 4 seven-day forecast. Looking at Sunday right now, it looks like scattered showers and storms are possible 78 degrees and then back to 80 degrees on Monday with widely scattered showers and storms. And for the rest of the week, 80 on Tuesday, 70s.